Hey, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Random. Today, we're talking about how you can protect your kids against mass shootings and school violence with one cost-effective trick. And it's easier than you think. Now, it's no surprise to anybody who watches the news and media that there has been an increase in mass shootings and school violence over the last few years, or at least we hear about them more through the media. Now, it does bring up a good lesson, and that is how do we protect our kids in such events, either in school or in public? And you have to realize that police response times are minutes. And when I say minutes, I mean it takes time for a person to call dispatch, dispatch to understand the call, dispatch the officer, then the officer to respond from wherever they are to that incident, and then once they arrive on scene, respond to the incident themselves. At least you're looking at a good three to five minutes. Now, time is one thing that we cannot control, and as time passes in these events, more damage occurs. So, how do we protect our kids? Well, there have been an increase in companies that have been releasing bulletproof backpacks, but I'm an average guy and I can't afford to spend $170 to $200 each for a backpack for my kids. So there had to be an easier way. So I started to do some research. Now, between the years of 1982 and 2019, there have been 166 mass shootings in America. Now, a mass shooting is defined as any shooting that occurs when there are more than four deaths. Now, the total number of handguns used are 141 in 93 incidents, and the number of rifles used are 55 rifles in 47 incidences, which means you have a 156% chance of being shot with a handgun over a rifle. So we're going to have to compromise when I started doing my research. So what I did was I looked for ballistic ratings that dealt with handguns. So I came up with the level 3A ballistic panel as being the best all-around ballistic panel for what I wanted to do. So I started to research online on eBay and other websites and I was able to find several level 3A ballistic panels for like 40 bucks. And then a backpack, let's use my kid's backpack right here. Well, it's free because they already have it. So let's just say I want to make this a bulletproof backpack. Well, what do I have to do? Well, it's pretty easy. I take my $40 ballistic panel and I slide it in to the laptop pouch that are in 99% of all backpacks now and I zip it up and that's it. Well, you ask, well, what happens if your kid doesn't carry a backpack like my 15 year old? He doesn't carry a backpack, he carries a binder. Well, I got you on that one too. So let's slide this backpack out of the way and actually pull out a thick binder that a lot of kids use today. Now for my oldest kid, you can use the exact same size ballistic panel that fits in the backpack as this binder. And you know what? It doesn't do anything for taking up space. This thing's pretty thin, and this is why we're gonna take it out to the range next and test out to just see how well this thing works. Which I assume is gonna stop all handguns since that's what it's rated to. So let's just show how easy it is to slide into the binder. Now this is more than just a classic three ring binder. This has folders and stuff like that in it. And then I found this awesome pouch in the back that is a perfect size to fit this panel for the binder. So you just slide it right in. Boom, that easy. Closes, it's out of the way, and guess what? Now you have a bulletproof binder because I'll tell you this, it's better to hold this in front of your body than nothing at all. And it doesn't interfere with any things that your kids do. It doesn't interfere with their backpack. They won't even know that it's in there. It doesn't interfere with their binder. And this thing was $40 on eBay. I'll leave a link down in the description below and you can check out the different sizes that they have. But I'm telling you as a parent and as a police officer, I do not understand why more parents are a little more cognizant about threats. Now, some may say I'm overprotective, but I'll tell you what, if I put a $40 panel in my son's backpack 
and it gives me a little more reassurance. Well, it's not a $170 backpack. It's not a $220 bulletproof backpack. It's 40 bucks. And you know what? It adds a lot of protection. So let's take this out to the range and let's shoot these things up. Okay, so why a backpack? So I chose a backpack because in mass casualty events like mass shootings, people tend to run away, which is fine. The only people who should be running towards the gunfire are people who, one, are adequately equipped with training and firepower. Any one of those, if you don't have one or the other, you're just gonna be coming to the casualty. So we want people to run away. But what that does is exposes the back of the head, the back, and the upper thighs. Now the back of the head, everybody knows the head has the brain, the torso holds all the vital organs, and the back of the legs has the femoral artery. Now, if you get hit in the head, you're dead. If you get hit in the upper legs, you can bleed out. If you get hit in the femoral artery, you can bleed out within like five minutes. But most people who train to shoot or even are novices at shooting always aim for the general mass of the body, which is the torso. So what we're doing is we're trying to mitigate all circumstances by saying if someone's running away, the head is bobbing around, the legs are running, but the torso usually remains the same height. So what we're trying to do is mitigate any type of injury to the vital organs because that's where most people are going to aim. So you can see that I shot one, two, three, four, five, six times and there's still nothing in the bag. Yeah. Okay, so the second thing was a binder. Now, some people, again, like I explained before, my 15 year old who's in high school does not carry a backpack. So this is the other best option if you don't carry a backpack to protect yourself because in an event, again, of something like a school shooting, this being held in front of your body is going to protect your organs as you're running away. Or if you're like running past something, you need to cover your head, it's way easier. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so let's take a look at the other armor that I got. So right here, I put in the binder and you can see that I shot it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. However, you gotta realize that these are meant to stop one, two, maybe three rounds before they actually compromise the armor, which is sort of what happened. You can see right here, this was a little high. This actually didn't hit the armor at all, um, but you can see right here that it did puncture through. However, it did stop one, two, three, four, five, six rounds before one went through. It was the last round that actually went through. You can rewind the camera. Okay, well, I just got back from the range, so let's do a quick overview of what happened. Now, the body panels that I got were the cheapest body panels I could possibly buy. Now, did they fall through with maybe more expensive ones? I don't know. I don't have more expensive ones. All I have is the $40 ones that I bought. Well, like $45 ones. And I'll tell you what, the one in the backpack stopped six rounds with no penetration through it. The one in the binder stopped six rounds with no penetration, but on the seventh one stopped penetration. Now, these are rounds that are shot consecutively. Boom, 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 boom. Giving the material no time to relax or anything like that. It's just hit after hit after hit after hit. So the pure fact that it was able to stop six is pretty damn good in my opinion for $45. And in most shootings, most mass casualty shootings or school shootings, individuals don't get shot more than one to two times. In rare cases, it's three times. So the pure fact that it could stop six rounds without an issue is still pretty great in my book. If I were to give it a one out of 10, I would say it's probably seven and a half. But again, it's going to stop six rounds. That's not bad when it comes to trying to protect your children. So if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. My next video that I'm gonna be releasing in about two days are gonna be why BB guns are so dangerous. So hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop that next video. Until next time.